You can still see remnants of what they call Swedish torches out here that helped keep these trees from freezing back in April. All those fires were set to make sure that the peach crop at Bennett's Orchard survived that suddenly harsh round of weather, and it was thanks to a community effort that kept the crop going. A lot of people from the community just kind of just showed up in the doorstep, really. Kurt Oval works alongside family members at their orchard in Whiteford Township. Three months ago, he was working alongside volunteers he just met. It was really cool because a lot of people I've never met before. They lived down the street. They lived, you know, two roads over across the town, and um, they just pulled in. Those volunteers showed up in late April to keep watch over small fires burning throughout Bennett's orchard. The temperature had plummeted overnight, blanketing the greater Toledo area in snow. The temperatures that we were recording just outside of the um, the orchards would have killed everything. Oval will tell you Michigan is not known for its peaches. The climate here can be too fickle. But with a community effort, heat from all these fires kept the blossoms and new fruit from freezing on these seven acres of peaches. From 100% loss, uh, we probably saved 70% of them. The heat also helped the apple crop, which is the signature of Bennett's Orchard. That and hard cider. The tap room here opens August 1st, and the peaches will soon follow thanks to these nights in April when everyone, family, neighbors, even complete strangers, pitched in to help. I guess it's a really good litmus test on, uh, you know, whether the community likes your product and likes your business is, you know, if they just show up without being asked to help when you need help. By now you're probably hungry for some peaches and you're thinking, let's get out there and get some. They're not quite ready just yet. August 1st is when they expect most of these varieties to be available for you to buy. Keep checking the Bennett's Orchards Facebook page for updates. Back to you in the studio.